I have a Honda CRV 99 that has uh, an ABS light and an SRS light. But today I'm going to concentrate on the ABS light and how to uh, diagnose the code and how to remove it. So that is the ABS error code. The error, error light that is showing on the dashboard. So even after starting the car, uh, it keeps uh, showing. Uh, so we shall find out the codes and then see what we need to do. First, what we need to do is to find out the OBD uh, plug for the Honda CRV. In this case, this is a specific uh, Honda CRV 97 to 2001. And this is the exact plug that we need uh, to be able to diagnose the ABS light errors. We need a special tool, a very simple and basic one. So that will be uh, 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 an electrical wire, uh, which we shall use to jump the connector so that we can be able to read the codes uh, from the uh, dashboard. You can also use a paper clip to jump the connector. Uh, right now we are preparing the special tool uh, which we shall use to jump the two pin connector. The Honda CRVs have got uh, two connectors, one uh, for three pins, which is used for specifically for the Honda uh, code reader, and the two pin, which anyone can use to decode any engine errors or ECU codes. So that is how we need to jump the two pin connector using the special kit or using a paper clip and that's how it should be when you use a paper clip and also using the special tool that we made that's how it should be so we've already jumped uh, the two pins on this connector now we go to the dashboard and observe uh, how to uh, get the error codes so getting the error codes is very easy uh, these are pulse reads, so there is the first digit and the second digit. The first digit it reads very slowly and the second digit it reads uh, very fast. So like you can see, this is uh, an example of how it reads uh, the error codes. So that has read an error code 34. The second example, let us see, the first digit it clicks very slowly so that is the first digit which is a one then we go to the second digit one two three so it, it has uh, produced a code uh, 13 so basically we have read two codes code 34 or 3-4 and code 13 or 13 what you then need to do is to look up these codes uh, in the error in the uh, error codes for Honda CRV. Now let us get the actual codes for for my vehicle. So that is one, one, two. So that's a twelve. One, one, two, three, four. That's a four. Fourteen. One. One, two, three, four, five. That's fifteen. And the final code one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I have got four codes, and I also read a, a five one, and all these are related to the ABS uh, errors. After you get your codes, what you need to do is then uh, go to the manual, to the reference manual for error codes or ABS codes. You can also Google on the internet and you will be able to find out what these errors uh, show. For mine, it was 12, uh, 15 and 17. So I have a problem with my front wheel sensors. And the, the main problem I suspect is uh, that they are dirty because you can see 
chipped pulse gear or electrical noise. Electrical noise means there is an interference or some hindrance to send the signals between the ring and the sensor. So what I'm doing now, I'm inspecting the uh, cables which seem to be okay. There is no open circuits on the cables, so they seem to be okay. After that, I have to get access to the sensors, speed sensor readers. And you can see that there's a lot of data around the rings. That's the speed ring. So I'll get a 10, 10 millimeter spanner to open the speed sensors and observe their condition because on the inside they are actually uh, open to be able to receive uh, the, the, the circuit from the speed rings. So removing the speed sensors. As you can see, they are really clogged with grease and dirt. So they need to be cleaned. And this is after a very long time. This is what happens unless some cleaning is done. And in our African roads, there is a lot of dirt, mud, water view, and also grease will get uh, around the sensors. So I'm um, just cleaning using uh, some diesel mixed with uh, gasoline. Both the front wheel sensors to remove the grease and the dirt. As you can see, they are now clean, perfectly clean. And we shall return them to the wheels. At the same time, we shall clean the speed sending rings that are attached to the hub. As you can see, they are also full of grease and dirt. And this needs to be cleaned out so that the grooves uh, can be able to send the proper signal to the speed sensors. And this sends the speed of the vehicle at the, 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 to the, to the uh, speed sensors. Uh, the speed sensor sends this information to the ABS module and the ABS module is able to respond depending on the uh, condition or depending on the braking uh, condition of the vehicle. So we're cleaning off the dirt and the grease. As you can see, it was a lot of grease around it. Now the ring is uh, clean, removing any dirt around it. When this dries up, it should stay for, for a long time before it reaches here. And this might be brought about by uh, a cart boot, a boot that is open. And when the car is moving, it will spill grease on the ring. So as you can see now, the ring is clean, but there's a lot of uh, grease around uh, that area, which, will, which should be cleaned so that it doesn't fall back onto the ring. And this is all the dirt that has come out uh, that was covering the rings and causing an error uh, to appear on the ABS. Now we're going to do a road test uh, to see if the ABS light uh, will disappear. So going for a road test now. You, you, uh, once you do this, uh, driving for about uh, two minutes, no, not even two minutes, a few seconds, and the sensors will send the correct readings to the ABS module. Immediately the ABS module tests itself and it's operate, operating correctly, then the ABS air light should be able to disappear on your dashboard. As you can see, we do not have uh, the constant ABS uh, light that was previously appearing on the dashboard and the ABS error is resolved just by cleaning your ABS uh, sensors and the rings. Thank you so much for watching.